But once the hunter shoots this, they the best thing they need to do, they need to get that skin cold just as quick as they can. Dedications come to Montana from all around the world. We are here at the state Montana Taxonomy Association convention and competition. We have um, entries from Montana, Wyoming, Idaho. There's some from Canada. Probably spent about four days just sculpting all of the detail work and doing the jaw set. If it's a showpiece, it takes me about like three weeks just to get everything mounted and make sure everything's correct. Some may simply see trophies, but there rests a variety of significant meaning. That is art that's over there, but it also can be used in so many different ways to tell a story. It can be used in science and preservation of learning more about the species. Preserve your memory, especially in the state of Montana where just about everybody hunts. For Mike Carl, those memories take the shape of his father. He's been my hero and he's always been a role model. And my dad had shot this mule deer and um, lost him three years ago. And this buck, uh, is one of his and so it's in memory of him. For others, this is a way to pay tribute to the lives discovered in nature. Well, I think it's a way to be able to respect an animal and bring honor into the death that they had. Even showing like little scars like how I had some notches in his ear that was from fighting so I think it's kind of nice to show those off and kind of show that he was like a fighter. We answered the question um, what is the elk looking at? But he's not bothered by it. They both coexist in the same habitat, right? So the whole thing is symbiotic. It's just a wonderful, wonderful piece. Organizers say above ribbons, plaques, and accolades, the best thing anyone can take home is an education. Personally, it's all about the education part of it. For the first 15 years of doing taxidermy, my work stayed the same. Never changed, looked just like the day I come out of taxidermy school. Taxidermy has um, evolved drastically in the last 20 years. You can see the quality in here is what used to be in museums is now in a, at a commercial level. Marcus Kakoba, MTN News.